Hi folks, I am solving lead code top 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. In this video, we'll be solving 53 maximum subarray. We are given an integer array nums and we have to find the subarray with the largest sub. Now let's take this example here. So this is the array which we are given and here if you see the largest sum from a subarray is 4, minus 1, 2 and minus 1. This all sums up to 6. And if we include, let's just say if we include this minus 5, it takes the sum from 6 to 1. And if we again include it, it's again 5. To solve this, let's take this example here. A brute force way that may come to your head is we can start by checking each and every element. So firstly this, then these two, then these and so on and so forth. And then again, we have to start from here and then check on each and every element. But if you see this solution is taking us to a n square solution which is not very efficient so instead what we can do is we will start from here and we will try to have a current sum so here if you see our current sum is negative 2 which is a negative integer so we can ignore this here we have 1 and then again as in when we move from 1 to this pointer here it became minus 2 and again we can ignore this as well because the sum was minus 2 and again when we start here it's 4 then minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 since it's a positive 1 we won't ignore it and then we add 2 so it will be 5 and then 1 so it will be 6 up until this point so again since this is positive we won't ignore this we will continue and here we encounter minus 5 still it's 1 here and again we have 4 so here current sum will be 5 but if you see we already got our maximum value with these four elements so we will take the maximum of whatever we got so far and this way we can solve this in linear time so the time complexity will be big O of n now let's see how we can solve this we can start by taking the maximum sum this could be our num set zero because we have negative values in our nums so it can't be zero and we will have values in our num so it makes sense to have it as num set zero and let's have our current sum we can use this as zero since we will compute it now let's iterate through our nums so here in the very first case if our current sum is smaller than zero then we will ignore that and make our current sum as zero yeah this case right here we will ignore the negative values now we will add values to our current sum and compute the max sum so this will be maximum of max sum or current sum and this completes our solution and we can return max sum now let me run this it works let me submit this it works. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you so much for watching.